Welcome to Smart Simplified. The IMF warns of the impending crisis, recession 2023. The IMF was established in 1944, 79 years ago. To achieve sustainable development. They achieved growth and prosperity. After the Great Depression, thoughts? We don't want any. These Great Depressions are no longer okay. They did a great job. We have seen incredible growth since then. Their formation is not only evident but also the 2008 financial crisis, the collapse and 22 other recessions. We've seen them since their inception. Okay, let's give them some of it. Slackness is a natural part of the human condition. The economy and the stock exchange to have intense periods of growth followed by low periods. Low periods of stability followed by collapses. Gains and then recessions, but generally. The IMF has been doing pretty well, especially in the last few years. The world economy has changed dramatically since 2008. From 65 trillion to 97 trillion, billion in 2021. From 15 trillion to 21 billion. During that same period, China who, by the side, are a member of the IMF, have lifted millions out from middle class, the poor and the middle classes. The past is economically essential. 12 years have been a good year for the IMF. Times may be changing, at least according to some. According to the IMF's most recent report, they provide a semi-annual global economic outlook. Numerous warning signals have been issued. Inflation future in the global economy. Growth and the war that I'm going to do. A quick overview of the IMF's activities. So the head of the IMF warned. The World Economic Forum began. Davos, Switzerland, where the global, perhaps the biggest challenge facing the economy is its future. Since the Second World War, Kristalin Georgia IMF Managing Director said, the invasion of Russia caused great suffering for the people who were there. Growth is slowing down, and change is being pushed up. Inflation, yes, we've seen it a lot. All inflation rates are crazy. It's not only in the United States but all over the globe. It's everywhere in the world, America. She said that the horizon was her favorite thing. Darkened since the IMF was made. It projects a 3.6% increase in 2022 April, the consequences of Russia's actions. The invasion was being seen fast and far away. With tightening financial circumstances, dollar appreciation and slowing of China. It's going to be a challenging year. Georgia declared recession in some countries that are more likely than the average to be in this category. The whole world, first and foremost. We should all hope that it is not the norm for the entire world were to be incorporated. It would encompass the whole world. A recession is okay for most countries. That would be extremely difficult for everyone. It could lead to disaster if you don't learn from it. Because countries with stability could be a help and strengthen the weak countries. Majority of countries will enter recession. Helpful countries for those in distress due to debt. Modernization of cross-border and payments. So she is determined to reduce her carbon footprint. Trade barriers are because they're okay. They may travel to certain countries. Predicting a recession is difficult. With your overall economy, but generally. There are certain areas of the economy which are not. You've got to remove all barriers to trade you can lean on other countries if you wish. So I agree with the IMF director. Low trade barriers will be a boon. Could you help with this type of recession? Governments should not be afraid to resist the forces of geo-economic fragmentation. There was no magic bullet that would solve all of the problems. Fragmentation can cause irreparable damage. When she speaks about geo-economics, fragmentation can be a little annoying. Although it is a bit confusing, she is essentially saying what she meant. Talking about more restrictions between countries and their economies. Instead of making it easy and smooth, make things simple. They get petty, and it becomes harder to do. Business between the two countries is allowed. The world has changed in the last 30 years. It has tripled its global footprint. Many people were lifted out of poverty by the economy. A lot of poverty was caused by this. Integration and cooperation between countries and their economies. Sharing technology trade ideas. Sharing goods and services, but not over the recent years have seen several changes. 
The IMF began in Ukraine after the war. This indicates that approximately 30 countries have this capability. Restricted trade in food energy other critical commodities that this has helped contribute to a decline in global GDP. This is how you measure an economy and that's according to the IMF. Research shows that the GDP has declined, and this is reflected in everyone. To sell his products to the regular person. Looking to top up their car gas if there are higher taxes. What do you think happens when gas is burned? Its price increases as a result. This is why the IMF's managing director calls for less fragmentation. Taxes and more cooperation, and I completely will be very agreeable. It is essential as we see more economies are in crisis. But they will rebound policies should be implemented. Governments actually hear the IMF. Hmm. That's the big question IMF asked. These are the reasons I am writing it. Monetary policy will be tightened to meet these conditions. Higher prices drive up wages. Expectations for inflation and wages. Inflation expectations driving up prices. The IMF acknowledged that while writing. In the countries most affected by war. The trade-off between Ukraine and Ukraine. Protecting growth and containing inflation will rise more. What does it mean to be challenging? They say that this is a trade-off between protecting growth and containing. Why is inflation significant? Can we not have both high and low growth? Let's first address inflation. This is how clear the IMF is speaking. About the Fed, the Federal Reserve or the Reserve Banks for individual countries. The Reserve Bank is the one that controls what type of monetary policies we follow. They can also have a loose slash. Either they can or they won't. A tight one is better than a loose one. They print to keep interest rates low, and they don't print. They make a lot of money and work hard to increase their profits. The economy in GDP is a tight one. Contract money and an increase in interest rates to cool the economy. You might think, why don't they just always have an expansionary monetary policy? To keep the momentum going up and up is one of the biggest problems. Fed had a highly loose expansionary policy. They had a monetary policy for 2023. Interest rates are at all-time high. 40 countries have printed trillions of dollars percent of the US dollars still in existence. Answer the following question. What happens when you increase your productivity? The money supply is so low that it's almost impossible to get enough. It grew the economy through monetary policy. But the knock-on effects were high inflation. This is what you'll be able to do now. When they say it, they mean. Recognize the trade-off between growth, stagnation and inflation. Yes, you want the economy to grow clearly, but you don't want inflation insanely high on one side and vice versa you want tighter money policies to lower inflation, but you don't want a recession to be incited. The IMF was balanced with a report which identifies economic risks overall. Prospects have risen dramatically, and policy has changed. Trade-offs are becoming more common. The challenge to IMF economic counselor Pierre-Olivier Grunge wrote in report. In a matter of weeks, the entire world will be in your hands. Yet again, he described major transformative shock. Durable recovery after the pandemic. The global economic collapse caused by globalization. The war created was visible. The genuine possibility that a large portion. Gains made in recent years will be lost. From a strictly economic perspective. The last few years have been extremely difficult. The stock market is safe from pandemic. Shots up like nothing else than the. Economy was in terrible shape, and GDP rose. It was the first time it had been in the negatives. Since the financial crisis. Then, we opened our doors. Businesses and bars have barely returned to their former glory. Thinking. Okay, the economy is beginning to look good again. But now, with this new war Russia and Ukraine the IMF have their own opinions. It's affecting global economic activity. And everyone who follows the instructions will be reminded once more. The economy was seen as having a huge impact effect when there is a war. Russia is a large country. Russia has an impact on the world economy. Those who don't realize they are the world's greatest thinkers. Second largest oil producer. The largest natural gas producer in the world. Top 5 steel nickel producers. 
Aluminium is the essential metal in aluminium. Exporter in the world almost 20 global trade is all that bread. You can make some fantastic things with wheat. They're also found on the other side of Ukraine. They're also a significant producer of corn, sixth largest in corn wheat. Seventh, the most enormous sunflowers are the largest. Among the top 10 sugar producers and soya. Two countries have chosen to focus their energy on each other. Fighting right now is more important than fighting later. Exporting and manufacturing to the entire world. Economy and making money are two of the most important aspects of economics. They've been almost exiled from Russia. The world economy has a significant impact on global growth. It reaches other countries' economies in strange ways. This should give you a better view. Find out what is happening with the global economy. And the views of the IMF on what's important. Going on and what they think should happen. I guess that was what I did when I was reading. This video is a great way to get your attention. Just the main thing was highlighted. It just goes to show me how important it is. The best part is that you can have your own personal. Financial stability grounded on solid rock. We don't know how to make it solid. The economy will be more robust in the future. It does seem to be on for a couple of years. It could slide downhill on shaky ground. It all depends on where you are located. We've seen it in Sri Lanka recently. Lanka is the latest example. The business you work for could be your dream job. Start laying off employees that you can get. A decrease in your stock price could mean that you lose some of your salaries. We must be ready for everything, even when things are going down. Are there areas in that we are more diverse than others? We have more to offer from strong businesses than just having them. One income I think these types of questions will be more critical than ever. The next few years will be different from previous years in which we have had a bull market rage, so that's the key message I received from reading the IMF reports. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment and share.